Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Uncle Max Cookery Lessons with butter sauce. Hello, in this video I'm going to make butter sauce, or as the French would say, beurre blanc, and it sounds all posh, doesn't it, that way. Um, it's pretty straightforward, very few ingredients. It's something that you could really knock up together in a short space of time without having to sort of search for lots of ingredients. So from that point of view, it's really easy. It's a little bit technical, you have to follow the method. Uh, I will let you know about uh, a slightly cheat way as we go along to make it a bit more stable because a broken sauce is not very nice and that's the whole point here we're emulsifying fat and liquid with acidic liquid to create this lovely flavorsome and velvety smooth sauce and i'm gonna i'm gonna crack on with it and i, I think you're gonna really like this okay the uh, recipe will be in the description but it's one of those recipes where it's very forgiving um just the list of ingredients and a technique really i'm using the shallots the banana shallots one was enough, but uh, if you don't want those, you can use onion as well. It's okay. Just it was that rough amount. Really finely chop it though. Really get it as fine as you can. Now, as I'm using lemon, I don't want to waste the lemon zest. It's that lovely floral note to the acidity of the lemon juice. But if you don't want to use lemon, you could use a white vinegar. It'll be absolutely fine. And there's me getting the juice out of that particularly juicy lemon. Now this isn't really a video how to do the cod and stuff like that, but that looks nice, doesn't it? So that's cod and asparagus. So once that's just about cooked there, and basically it's so nice, I'm going to leave that to the side to rest, and then um, five, ten minutes to finish this sauce off. So into a pan goes the wine, the shallots, and the lemon juice, and I'm using a strainer to remove the pips. And so you may want to leave your onion in there, I didn't in this video because it's sort of not what you're supposed to, but if I was doing this just for me, not on film, I would have left the onion in or the shallot in. But reduce and reduce and reduce. Get it gloopy. Now, I like my sauce, my butter sauce, quite loose. I don't like a really thick one. But um, once you've got it reduced to that point, I'm passing out those bits of shallots and give them a squeeze with a spoon. You might want to reduce yours more than I did. You could reduce it by half as much and you'd have a thicker sauce. Back into a pan, up to just under a simmer. Don't let this boil. The butter is cold. That's quite important. The butter must be cold. And I've already diced it, obviously, so it's been in the fridge waiting. And I add a few bits in at a time and just stir, and then I can whisk and whisk and whisk. You want to keep stirring it. Don't leave it. And don't let it boil. And just keep adding a few knobs at a time and keep stirring them until they're almost completely melted and then you can add a few more bits in and stir and just keep going and then you're going to check your consistency I say there's an awful lot of leeway either side here I quite like that that's quite nice but uh, a li you know the little bit more butter went in and I'm happy with that consistency now I've used unsorted butter because I want to season it myself so I've had a taste bit of salt bit of pepper herbs at this point would be lovely and uh, I'm happy with that I put mine into a little boat there because I think it looks nicer and uh, there we go let it cascade all over the cod and asparagus or chicken or veg anyway over to me for the tasting well I've already opened the bottle for the sauce so might as well have a little bit so Beurre Blanc. It's that very rich, creamy sauce, obviously. Well, not creamy, buttery. Mmm. But it's delicate as well. And it's balanced really nicely with the wine and the lemon. You can use vinegar, like a white wine or a cider vinegar instead of lemon, if you like. You need that acidity. And I like to use unsalted butter because then I can season it afterwards. If you just use salted butter, I think you might end up with a sauce that's just too salty. Mmm. Perfect with a bit of cod. Mmm. Also beautiful just with vegetables. Mmm. Mmm. I love English asparagus in the summer. It's just, we don't do many things that well in this country, but that we do. Anyhow, mm, yum yum. Thank you very much for watching and if you are quite new because all of a sudden my channel is getting quite a lot of attention at the moment but it's just really one video the bread and butter pudding but you happen to be watching this 
Um, please help my other videos uh, get some attention from YouTube by liking and commenting and sharing those sorts of things. And I would be so, so grateful to you. And uh, that's it really. So thanks again. Hope you're all doing very well and I'll catch up with you pretty soon. Oh, I didn't have any wine. Bye.